when they are ready to go castle, Seal shouting on Eugene that you son of bitch, how dare you just leave her like that on forest, while she is riding on her wyvern, her wyvern looked so frightened after seeing Eugene, she approaching to Eugene, he said, you found your way here fine, your wyvern pretty smart then Seal landing on ground with her wyvern, Eugene said with smile, good that you are here, he need to go the black lion castle now, give him a ride, seal fluster and surprise and heist asked you want to ride the with her eugene asked why you don't want to seal turned her gaze and said that she don't mind and they both fly above on the way to black lion castle there are many black lion knights riding on wyvern ahead of them then seal said to eugene to stick closer because you might fall while eugene said with cold face that he won't die even if he fall after that seal purposely speed up her wyvern then Eugene hold the wyvern back to stable the turbulence, then seal said, don't hold onto her wyvern scale, you are hurting him, while. Eugene said, how's that a wyvern if just holding onto its scale hurts him? If that hurts, then your wyvern's a fucking lizard, seal said, her wyvern is sensitive, and then Eugene grabbed her waist and ask, is this fine? Seal is blush and surprise and with happy face said, yes, it's good, then Seal turned her wyvern on other way of others, Eugene asks, what are you doing? She smile and said, we might as well fly around before going there, it feels nice to fly, Eugene with boring face said, he'd rather just hurry to castle and eat, then take a bath, while Seal with happy face said, you'll just hear lectures, once you get there, after that they flying toward the vast sky with sunset behind the mountain. On a black lion castle building, Carmen and Eugene walking on long gallery, Carmen as usual with her stylish clothing with cigar on her mouth without fire, on the way she said, we don't have enough people in black lion knight order, the great lion heart family with 300 years of history, for a knight order that is supposed to guard such a family, we have too few people, Eugene said, what can we do about that anyway? Unlike the main residence White Lion Knight Order, the Black Lion Knight Order is made up of people who are from the Lion Heart family, Carmen said, that's because the Black Lion Knight Order has to take care of the messy businesses of the family, we can't have outsider get mixed up in that, with that she said in a cold tone that, Eugene Lion Heart, come into the Black Lion Knight Order, Eugene said, he already rejected that offer two years ago. Carmen said, back then, she didn't see your skills herself, but she saw them today, the second reason Legion Captain's disciple position is still empty, Eugene with emotionless face said, what has he been doing for two years then? Carmen said, he did find one, but his personality is pretty rough, no one was able to withstand him, she says, Eugene's skill remind her of him, she wouldn't be surprised if he had taught you. Eugene clarify that he has never met him, Carmen said, if you became his disciple, you would get along with him, plus, being in the Black Castle Lion Knight Order is a great honor to the family, Eugene said, that's all fine and good, but he would like to prioritize his own honor, Carmen said, the Senate is wary up you, the situation in Nahama has been suspicious lately, but you went and visited that place without any discussion, Eugene said, you don't think that he schemed something with those Nahama people, do you? Carmen said to him that, the possibilities is very low, but we can't completely ignore it, which would have ever imagined that Iod would get into dark magic. You are in a good position to receive all kind of offers, you are very talented, but there is a limit to your authority because of your bloodline, what if someone were to offer to help you become the patriarch? Eugene said, he don't want to become the patriarch, Carmen said, then think about it differently, with your skills, anyone would try to take you onto their side, did Nahama Sultan promise you wealth and fame? Eugene said, are you interrogating him, right now? Carmen said, yes, Eugene with smile said, then he guess, he don't need to answer you, then they stop in front of a door, Eugene said, he is sure. The people in this room will ask him the same question, then the door open, Eugene surprised to see in the room, that they both are standing in front of the six people, they are senate head, Duaner's Lionheart, Patriarch, 
Senate member Klein Lionheart and Senate member specialized in magic indirect bloodline, Black Lion Knight Order 1st Legion. Captain Dominic Lionheart and the Black Lion Knight Order a 2nd Legion Captain Zeno's Lionheart, then Eugene bowed his head and said, Hello, dear Senate elders, he is Eugene Lionheart, then sudden his posture is changed and he said, It is rather sudden, then Sir Duaner's Landheart fixed her gaze on Eugene, then Eugene sudden spread his rob that emitting purple light and he said, Please take a look at this, and then from his rob subspace, he bring out the Hamel's gravestone and statue in front of all. The Senate head and the Patriarch watching all this while Senate member Klein said, A statue and a gravestone? What is this? Then Senate head stand up from his seat and come near to gravestone and watched. Then he said, There's a name on the gravestone, Hamel Dinas. Then sudden Patriarch stand up from his seat with surprise and asked, Hamel the foolish? Sir Duaners asked Eugene, where did you get this? How did you find this? Eugene said, he found it, in Sir Hamel's grave, while second Black Lion Knight Order Legion Captain's eyes wide open with surprise and shocked and he thinking about Sir Hamel's grave, then Eugene start to explain to everyone as they already know he studied magic in Arode for two years, in Senius Hall in Arode Royal Acreon, he was able to learn about Hamel's grave through witchcraft, Sir Duaners asked, how? Eugene said, this is the first time someone from the Lionheart family has gotten a look at the witchcraft, he assumed Lady Senior meant for one of us to see it, Sir Hamel is an old friend of our ancestor, unlike the others, he wasn't able to return from Hill Mud, and his sacrifice himself for the sake of his friends. Eugene is thinking in his mind, saying all this is really embarrassing, he continued that he wandered around Nahama Desert and found Sir Hamel's grave, but the grave was seriously damaged, the only things that remain intact were the statue and the gravestone, there was also a death knight made from Sir Hamel's corpse, he was able to defeat the death knight but he came across the infamous dungeon master of the desert, Amelia Marwin, then the senate lion heart magician was shocked, and shouted and asked, you came across the death knight and Amelia Merwin? How were you able to come back alive? Eugene with anger on his eyes said, That's because the Demon King of Incarceration intervened. The Patriarch with tense voice said Demon King of Incarceration while Senate member Klein with pale and surprised face said, Hilmut's Dominator was there himself? Carmen and Sir Duaner stand near Eugene and listening his word with very serious. Eugene said, Yes, he stopped Amelia Merwin from killing him, and told him to relay a warning. He said that freedom without responsibility was self-indulgence, he warned us that his goodwill and Hilmut's silence would not last for eternity, Sir Duaner was shocked and frightened, while Eugene think, he need to relay this warning, he don't know what Vermouth's promise entailed, but having heard the warning, we need to prepare for the end of this peace, Eugene continued that the Demon King of Incarceration also said, he cannot have people thinking it is an obligation that he be nice to them. If you will not respect him, he will no longer respect you either. After listening all this Sir Duaners exhales with sweat drops on his face, he take a seat and then he hold his head in a tense and nervously smile and said, he never expected you to tell us such enormous news, we are going to interrogate you on what you had been doing, but this has become quite the big problem, Senate member Klein Lionheart said, the Demon King of Incarceration has expressed the possibility of peace. If we do not tread on his goodwill, the peace will continue, the Patriarch said, if he felt the need to warn us, he's sure the peace will end eventually, Nahama has been invading Turath for hundreds of years, if Hilmut is behind this viciousness, how can we be certain that it wasn't the Demon King of Incarceration that made this happen? Sir Duaner said, and then will you go visit the Demon King by yourself to ask? Of course he wouldn't be surprised if this peace were to end any day, the two strongest demon kings are alive and well, their subordinates, the demons and dark mazes are all over the continents, 300 years ago Sir Vermouth the Great took just four friends and felled the demon king of slaughter, cruelty, and frenzy, but he wasn't able to fell the demon king of incarceration and the demon king of ruin, then Sir Duaners shouted that, just who among this era's lion hearts can kill? The Demon Kings. 
him or his grandson Dominic. Then he asked Patriarch, Will you do it? Then the Patriarch said with sweat drop on his face that, This does not threaten only the lion hearts, the demon king of incarceration is after the world. Then Sir Duaner calmed down and said, Right, but we're the descendants of the Vermouth the Great, if we are to fight Hill Mud, we need to be at the front line. The Patriarch listening carefully then Sir Duaner asked Patriarch, Do you believe that we are ready? Then Senate member Sir Clyde said, It's neither Keel nor the Lion Hearts who are disrespecting the goodwill of the Demon King of Incarceration, it is the Holy Empire and the Allied Power of Devil Conquest who keep their armies on standby at the border of Hill Mud. Sir Klein clenched his fist and angrily said, Those Demon King haters are going to invade Hill Mud with all their forces as soon as they hear about the warning. Sir Duaner said, The Holy Empire and the Allied Power of Devil Conquest aren't trying to fight Hilmut head on, it's just a stupid performance, if things get serious, he is sure they will recall their forces, then on round table elders are arguing themselves while Eugene and Carmen are standing in front of them and listening all their debates, Eugene thinks, what a slow discussion, look like he won't have to worry about them declaring war against Hilmud, not that he care, his determination to kill all the demon kings won't change. Then Sir Duaner said, Eugene what do you intend on doing with those things? Eugene said, he was thinking of putting it where our ancestor lays, then pointed toward gravestone he said, Sir Hamill's grave has already been destroyed, look at this, then Sir Duaner star reading engraved words on gravestone that Hamill died as, piece of shit, idiot, retard, and garbage, then Eugene interrupt him and said not the insults, he meant below that, but brave, faithful, wise and great, in praise of you, who sacrificed yourself for our sake and let us earlier than you should have. Then Eugene in angry clenched his fist and said, Our ancestor genuinely mourned the death of Sir Hamill, he think it's only right that we put the statue and gravestone where he lays, he didn't learn magic from Lady Senia herself but his mentor, Sir O'Brien has inherited her tradition, so he is sure he can call himself a mentee of Lady Senia too, while all this saying he thinking that he would have never imagined calling himself a mentee of Senia, he further said, in other words, he lady. Senia's mentee and our ancestor's descendant, and the last person to have paid respect to Sir Hamill, so he think that he should be the one, and he made a respected gesture and said, to bring this gravestone and statue to the ancestor's grave, Sir Duaner in thinking position said, he get what you mean, then the Patriarch watched Sir Duaner's while he said, But as you know, we can't let anyone into the Ancestor's grave. Then the Patriarch spoke that. He do think it's only right for Sir Hamill's gravestones to lay next to the Ancestor's. Then Carmen said, Eugene Lionheart brought the statue and the gravestone so it only makes sense that he is the one to bring it to the Ancestor. Then Sir Duaner's closed its eyes and said, Then he guess he will have to open up the path of the grave. Now, Eugene with a smug smile in his mind and thinks, nice. Now he won't need to sneak around looking Vermouth's grave anymore, he won't be able to open up his coffin when he get there, but he can just memorize the location and go there again, Sir Duaner said, we need time to open up the path, so you keep the statue and gravestone meanwhile, Eugene agree and thinks, need time? Is it sealed with magic or somethings? Then Sir Duaner said to Zenos to take care of Eugene and take him to his room while Zenos said, Yes sir as an obedient student. Then Sir Duaner said to Patriarch that pause your reunion with your sons back a bit. We still have lot to discuss. Then Zenos and Eugene walking into a gallery. Zenos is like always intense. Eugene thinks. So this guy is the second legion's captains. He heard he is not quite the personality. So much so that everyone one of his disciple ran away. Then sudden Zeno stopped and said to Eugene, Kid, let's go over there and show me the statue and the gravestone one more time. Eugene said, That's not any problem but why do you want that? In a shaking voice Zeno said, He, then after a pause he said, He want to give flowers and then he burst into tear like a child. Eugene was shocked asked, Why are you crying all of sudden? While Zeno's wiping his tears and said, He is not crying, he have conjunctivitis, so sometimes tears flow without meaning to, while tears are flowing like river, 
he can't control his emotion, Eugene was found shocked and puzzled to see and thinks, what the hell? After sometimes in a garden he bring out the grave and gravestone and Zeno's kneeling in front statue and offering the flowers, while Eugene standing behind him and thought, why is this big man giving his statue flowers and sobbing? Is he Hamill's descendant or something? Then he thinking about possibility that, his dependent marrying Vermouth's descendant and having children. Then he denied that possibility because he never had kids, then he asked to Zenos, do you have some kind of connection to Sir Hamill? While Zenos is still crying then he is wiped his tears and turned and said, he's Sir Hamill's disciple, Eugene was totally gone blank in shock, he think, disciple. What the hell is talking about? He has never taught anyone in his past life, well, technically speaking, he did not learn directly from him, then Sir Zenos said, like all branch families, his family split off from the main family, his distant ancestor was Sir Vermouth's second son, the oldest son become the patriarch after Sir Vermouth, and many siblings left the main residence to start in direct lineages, his ancestor did not become the patriarch, but he was able to inherit something other than the main families. Traditional white flame method, Sir Vermouth taught his ancestor Sir Hamill's technique, Eugene was frowned and surprised to hear this, Zenos continue that, there is something he would like to ask you, did you perhaps find his secret technique text on his grave? He saw the duel between you and Dame Carmen, the way you deflected her punch, that was one of Sir Hamill's technique, that his family inherited from Sir Vermouth, that skill cannot be imitated without genius combat senses and deep understanding and control over mana, but if you had found Sir Hamill's secret text in his grave, it's not impossible, then Eugene thinks, so, that bastard Vermouth, decided to teach his descendants Hamill's skill 300 years ago, then Eugene asked, why? Did Sir Vermouth teach his second son Sir Hamill's technique? Zenos said, after Sir Vermouth's oldest son become the patriarch, many branch family were formed, as the family grew, we could not avoid Black Sea, his ancestor was the first black lion who convicted those people. Eugene put his finger on his face and things, so, Vermouth raised his second son as a hunting dog that would keep lease on the main family and other branch families, he smile and think, that must mean that he considered his technique enough to go up against the main family's white flame method, then Zeno said Eugene, if you do possess Sir Hamill's secret text, please give it to him, then Eugene scratches his head and said, let's go over our position first, with the arrogant face he said, technically, he is Sir Hamill's direct disciple, so is he not above you in seniority? Zenos was surprised and shocked found after hearing this while Eugene with his arrogant face still saying that, he would have be the senior brother and you, my junior brother, if you want to call yourself Sir Hamill's disciple, then you must treat him as your senior brother, Zenos was shocked and asked, what, then does mean that, there really was a secret text in Sir Hamill's grave. Eugene said, yes, but he memorized it and burned it, you heard what he said to the elders earlier, right? A death knight attack him, so he couldn't bring it back with him, if you treat him as your senior brother, then he can compare the technique of the Sir Hamill, to the one you learned from your family, and teach you what you are missing, what will you do? Zenos said, do you really have his technique memorized? Eugene with irritated face said, can you please choose between formal and casual speech? He thinks, Amelia Marwin, he's reminding him of that goddamned bitch, it's pissing him off, then Zenos asked, do he have to call you senior brother in front of others people too? Eugene said, that's would make it inconvenient for both of us, we would have to explain too much, he will be fine with you calling him senior brother when it's just two of us, then Zenos agree with him and called him senior brother, then Eugene said, right, junior brother, how long do you intend to having him wait here? Won't you guide him to his room? Then they both seating on a chair, Zenos start to explain, the skills passed down in our family that Sir Vermouth taught his ancestor are ten in total, Eugene thinks, did he has that many? He only ever named one of the skill to ignition, the rest he just used depending on the situation at hand, Eugene said, 
describe them, then Zeno said, the Hamel's method principal ignition, then sudden Eugene stopped him and said, Hamel's method. Did Sir Vermouth name that himself? Zeno said, he is not sure but that's how we have always learned them, Eugene was very angry in his mind and thinking about, Vermouth son of a beach, you could have thought of a better name, what the fuck is Hamel's method? Then he said to continue to Zeno's, then Zeno's told him 10 skill names of Hamel's method, that names were too flashy and recognizable, after listening all the names Eugene was frown and shocked, then he remember these name, the memories that he had erased because he did not want to think about them, then he remember in his past when he shouting the name Azure Rampage and killing lots of demons in one shot, and cutting them into pieces, after listening the skill name Senior said, what's with him? Now, what does Azure Rampage have to do with just swinging your sword everywhere? Hamel agitatedly said, Senior, you just explode some fires and call it fire blast or whatever the fuck, then Senior shouted in anger and said, she didn't give it that name. It's not her choice that she has to say the names in order to cast a spell. Then Hamel turns to Annis and said you also just emit light and say something like holy cross. Annis said, at the very least, she make a cross out of the light. She asks so does your skill get stronger or something if you shout Azure Rampage. Then Hamel laughed and said, of course, he need to shout in order to feel stronger, Moron said, he think it's cool, when Hamel shouts Azure Rampage and attack, he really become Azura, then with smile Hamel said, you get it, they're thinking all about Eugene embarrassed and in anger hold his head with both hand, and think about Moron's words, you get it my ass. He was way too young back then. He only used that skill name for a couple years then erased it from memory after that because of how embarrassing it was. But Vermouth, that son of a bitch memorized all that ass names and taught them to his son. Then he again thinking about his skill shouting, thousand thunders, while he killing the monster with his move, Vermouth watching all this fight and thinks, so that skill is thousand thunder and he memorized it all and those skill passed down for 300 years, a trainer trained the warrior and said, today we will learn Sir Hamel's eternal purgatory, and the trainee start shouting eternal purgatory while trainer still force them to say louder because you cannot extract your full strength if you do not yell the skill name louder. After thinking all these about Eugene screaming in his mind with shame and embarrassment, clenching his fist and shaking in anger to think those retarded ass skill names that he used to shout in his past life, would get passed down for three centuries in the Lionheart family, he should have regressed instead of reincarnating, then he could have killed the past Hamel with his own hands. Zeno said, were these skill written down in the secret text you found, senior brother? Then Eugene said heist, the book did not have any of these idiotic ass, he means, none of this embarrassing skills, those skills must be the ones Sir Hamel made when he was still immature, Zenos was surprised Ro hear embarrassing word and burst into anger and said, you may be his senior brother, but he can't sit by and listen to you look down on those skills, Eugene clarify, you must be misunderstanding, but he also respects Sir Hamel, when he said embarrassing it was referring to the skill names, not the actual skill, then Eugene put his hand on chest and said, Junior brother, put your hand on your chest and be honest, Thousand Thunder? Azure Rampage? Dead End? Don't you think those names are embarrassing? Then Zenos was frowned and thinking about it, then Eugene said, that Dame Carmen's ultimate attack is called Destiny Breaker, Eugene asks, how great, Zenos is shut his mouth like he holding his laugh, then Eugene said, enough about the skill names, written in detail about these skills, he will compare it to the secret text in his head and fix the wrong part for you, then Zeno start to write down all the skills names on a paper, while Eugene watching outside of window and ask to, Zeno's that, have you ever gone inside Sir Vermouth's grave? Zeno said, once when he became the captain, it's not just him, Anyone who is appointed captain of the Black Lion Knights must go into Sir Vermouth's grave to swear on their life to protect the family, Eugene asked, what kind of a place is it? Zeno said, don't think of it as too luxurious, it's a deeply regarded secret, 
so he can't tell you in details, but, it's like a temple of sorts. Perhaps, Sir Vermouth became a god when he passed away, maybe it was set up to worship him, Eugene thinks, Vermouth as a god, if he did become a god, then reincarnating his dead friend would be possible, but if he had acquired omnipotent and omniscience, he wouldn't have fought Senya. Then Zenos write down all the names and handing over the paper to Eugene, Eugene reading all these names and thinks, what a mess, this idiots that inherited the Hamels method, must have changed a lot of things to try and compensate for the inconvenient parts. Then taking a seat he said, this is very different from what he saw, then erasing the title words then Zenos said, why are you erasing Hamel method? Word, Eugene in angry said, be quiet, keep this in mind, junior brother, this bullshit Hamel method, is not really that great enough to have its own name, being restricted to these technique won't allow you to surpass your limits, after erasing and circling many words he said, you should try to stay away from the Hamel method too, Zenos said, you're right but have you perfectly mastered the Hamel method? Eugene said, if he hadn't, how would he be editing this right now? Zenos said, please don't take this the wrong way, just he just want to know, how much you really understand the Hamel's method, then Eugene exhales and standing from chair he said, watch closely, and then he drew his sword and all over his body there is a white flame mana overflowing and four star circling in his heart and then there is wind circling the sword edge and become big wind energy ball and then Eugene released that energy ball and a big blast happened in air, there are all over. Wind gust around and then slowly it dissipate, watching all this Zeno's mouth and eyes open wide with surprise and shock to see the skill eternal purgatory, and he said, you have casted with such ease, a technique that consume an incredible amount of mana. Eugene said, are you satisfied? While Zeno standing in soldier position and frown and said, please show him destructive divine chi too, then Eugene giving him paper and said, just wrapping this around his body is destructive divine chi, don't make him do work, and just take this with you, then again take back the paper and said, ah, and junior brother, if Dame Carmen or anyone else tells you to take him is as your disciple, reject them, all right? Zenos with puzzled face said. Does he really have to? Eugene said, why? Do you want to order him around when he is your senior brothers? Zenos said, that's not what he meant, if someone like you were in B in the Black Lion Knights, he didn't even complete the sentence, Eugene take away the paper and said, then he will take this back while Zenos in begging position said, he will reject them right away. After that on a table Eugene and Seal having a lunch, Eugene enjoying the food on dining table while Seal is watching him very happy face, she asked excitedly, what do you talk about with Sir Zenos all day yesterday? Did you finally decide to come into the Black Lion Knight order? Eugene chewing his meat said, no, he just taught me a bit. Seal said, you said you were close to the Prince of Arod, right? Have you ever been to his banquets or parties? Or did you ever get introduced to a promising young mage by Mr. Robe Ryan? Eugene said, does it seem like he would be into that kind of socializing? Seal said, her brother is going to become really busy starting next year, many renowned nobles and other nations royal family will want to get introduced to her brother, who is the successor of the Lionheart family, the Sea Kingdom Simuan's young princess and the Luhar Kingdom's princess are both his marriage partner candidates, he might be the first out of the three of us to get married, Eugene thinks, that Luhar Kingdom set up his Moron, Moron's descendant, and then he imaging about the princess of Luhar that look like Moron, after thinking this he shivers in fears and freeze, and hold his face in panic and said, that's horrible, then sudden doors open by Cyan, who looks like trash and exhausted, his clothes torn apart and he is mentally in shock then Seal said, brother, while Eugene said, wow, you are here earlier than he expected, he thought you will be lost for days, while Cyan angrily greeting his teeth and clenching his fists said, who do you think he is? Eugene with mocking tone said, did you see lots of ghosts in the forest? While scared Cyan said, don't even mention it, then he thinks, 
he spent a whole day struggling against illusions and monsters as well as knights. Eugene, this bastard, arrived at the castle not even an hour after he was dropped into the woods, then sudden a maid running towards them and said, an urgent message, she said, a guest will be arriving soon, so please get ready and come to the warp gate, Seal said, she hasn't heard news of a guest coming before, the maid said, we just received, the message too, he think the visit was decided during the conference between the elders, Eugene said, and this guest is so important that we need to go greet them, who is it, she said, the holy empire Eura's auxiliary bishop, Lady Bishop Christina and a mysterious figure appears from behind like saint.